thing I've always learned from being a cryptocurrency guy is incentives are king and it's always been an incentives problem. I mean, how many people in 1990 being paid to think about social networks? You'd probably be in like in the sociology department at Harvard or something like that, or like flying around on like an MIT AI group or something. It wasn't a real job and nobody would understand like how many people who are experts in how to build effective social network are floating around now. There's thousands of them. They're fabulously wealthy. So if you show that in a free market system, you can achieve great wealth, or at least the prospect of great wealth by building a system of a certain design, then you'll end up getting a lot of it. The cryptocurrency space was exactly the same. Now in 2021, I mean, the, now the existing chairman of the Securities Exchange Commission, Gensler, he was lecturing at MIT on cryptocurrencies. Uh, I mean, that's how far we've gone in just such a short period of time because the incentives were right. So when I look at this problem, I say, well, how do we get the incentives in the right way to encourage a large clique of people to come in and actually start applying serious hardcore brain power to the these types of problems. So it's a first mover situation. Now to the mines and these other guys, to, the, to that earlier point you brought up, um, I look at them almost like mechanical horses. You know, you know, when you're first thinking like, how do we build a better horse? You go, oh, let's build a robot horse or a steam powered horse or something like that. Yeah. And somebody says, well, no, there's this automobile idea that we've been toying around with. Maybe that's just a fundamentally more competitive or better model. And so similarly, when you look at the social networks, we have to say, okay, what is our automobile movement moment to replace the horse? And mines is is not it. I, I I think that if those things existed, they'd actually just be worse than Facebook or Twitter. They'd get far more siloed. Those three problems I outlined: the the great yeah. moderation, the incentives models being aligned so that you know people can actually make money and produce money and and do useful things with the system, and the infrastructure funding problem. You have to solve all three of those with one protocol design and one incentives design. And if you do that, then it's going to be like this massive beacon that will attract tons of people to come in and start working on it and augment it and evolve it. And it doesn't matter if, if it starts very small, it'll go very viral and eventually get to that Tesla style hockey stick.